until the 1991 Physical Planning Act, permit to construct any building over any water reserve area will leave affecting the land. And Dipakunda, it's not an exception. Malaria and dengue are among the main dangers of stagnant water, which can become a breeding ground for mosquitoes that transmit these diseases. According to World Health Organization data published in 2018, malaria deaths in the Gambia is a 4.51% of total deaths. Actually, um, you know, last week rain has been the heaviest rain so far since the beginning of the rain. Uh, when it happened, uh, the, uh, the government came out. The vice, I went there with the vice president to give a policy statement so that the vice president will state the position of the, of the government. Because in any disaster situation, the government is the primary duty bearer. In addition to that, the president approved um, $10 million after the vice president gave out a policy statement stating the government's position being a responsible government so that government would respond to the needs of the population. This is the bridge constructed by the native of Dipakunda to ease the movement of people and good within the jurisdiction of this area. Considering the health implication associated with living within this stagnant water, Omar Jallo, a native of Dipakunda, talks on the needs for government to intervene. <laughs> You 
you see, uh, the biggest challenge that the, this institution is going through is um, compliance and regulation. The regulations are built, in t physical planning regulations are there, but then uh, the awareness is one thing, enforcement is another thing, and compliance is another thing. So this is causing serious challenge as far as our, our work is concerned. Uh, from um, a legislative perspective, there is a physical planning regulation that whenever you want to come up with any physical structure in terms of building, you must obtain um, a, a building permit. This thing has not been enforced. The physical planning also did not go around for inspection as it, they used to be. So that uh, if the people do not come to physical planning and ask for uh, building permit, physical planning should also go on inspection and make sure that, that, that such regulations are observed, such regulations are adhered to, and there is strict um, adherence to compliance. I think this has been the biggest challenge. It's twofold. Uh, some people will tell you that they don't know, but again, physical planning is also their responsibility because it's within their legal mandate to go around and make sure that the, they make people responsible for their, um, their regulation.